What's up, duelists? Today, the Toto Gauntlet returns. I'm going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Toto Gone. You know what it is. First to five, or best of five matches. Five different decks from each of us, so ten different decks total. And I've prepared five brand new decks for today. I've put a lot of time into this. It's why I took yesterday off, so I can make sure I had the most cooking deck lists you've ever seen this one is a this one is pretty clean this one is basically teledad flamvel so we got flamvel grave keepers and we got eteli and we got some staples that's pretty much it it's kind of heat you got a sideboard with a lot of stun options the ghost destroyer and the thunder king ryo and of course you gotta have the extra deck stacked with all the goodies like Psychic Life Trancer and Double Thought Ruler. I've got four other decks. We're gonna get to them as we get to them. If you guys wanna play against me in tournament though, before we get into the games, next weekend or this upcoming weekend is the Birthday Bash at Xanadu Games hosted by Feel Good Gaming. And then if you wanna play Edison in the New York area this weekend also at Collector's Emporium, there's an Ultimate Dandelion Tournament. If you're in Berlin this weekend or in Europe and you want to play some Edison at the highest level, Heaven's Door is hosting on the 17th, the Sunday, a PS5 tournament. And then, of course, the YCS prize card tournament in Southern California is happening this weekend as well. This one, I can't even believe that this is a tournament. If you are in the Southern California area and you can get Sunday off, go play in this tournament. It looks insane. YCS prize card to first place. Second place gets Ultimate Dark Armed, Secret Dark Armed for third and fourth. Plus 10 OTS packs for everybody in top. It's crazy. It's crazy value. That's one of the highest value tournaments I've ever seen. Uh, definitely go check out those tournaments. Come play in them. Come support your local scene this Christmas. And let's get into the games versus Totagon. So I recently played against Totagon, but we didn't play Yu-Gi-Oh. We actually played Pokemon. We played the, the base jungle fossil Pokemon format. It was sick. It was actually super fun. I decked myself out. Um, <laughs> but here we are. Alas. Alas, here we are. I wonder if these people know. I wonder if they know. Actually, I'll put a watcher password. I'll put a watcher password for the real one. The watcher password is going to be Totogon. So the next time you see me hosting for the Total Gauntlet, you'll know the watcher password if you've watched this video. And if you haven't watched this video, then what can I say? What can I say? I got a message. Okay, there's Totagon. There we go. Yeah, only the real ones will be able to watch this live in real time. Good luck, have fun, Totagon. Alas, I shall be taking my third Totagauntlet victory, and I'll be doing it with Flambelle for the people. What the fuck? Blushing. Paper. This one for my boy Nate. Looks like we got a shout out for Nate. Also, another shout out is Totagon, the man himself. Subscribe to his YouTube. He posts lots of videos. He actually will be streaming, I believe, this tournament, the YCS prize card tournament on Sunday. So make sure and check that out. My hand is really good. This hand is gas. So the reason I'm only playing two rekindling, I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, I'm going to play three rekindling. Nah. It's because you draw too many of them. And you don't need to see it early. You really don't. What the fuck is this? I don't want to play against this. Dude, don't morph Tronic bind me. I don't want to play against set five right now. My hand doesn't do that well in a set. Well, it's okay in set five. It's just Dust Shoot will be dead. Fire Dog won't connect. Okay, what does he get here? You can get Scoping. While in attack position once per turn, you can special summon one level four more Tronic monster from your hand. Okay, that's what he's going to do. He's going to special summon one level four monster from his hand. He doesn't have Limiter, he doesn't have Megamorph, he doesn't have Mind Control. So it looks like this is a Power Tool Dragon deck with the Megamorph. Um, and we're actually losing pretty hard here. If he makes Power Tool, we're actually getting fucking destroyed. Yeah, this is really bad. Yeah. Uh, if we had gone first, I mean, this would have been a crush. But going second here is... It's Jover. It's actually Jover. I need Heavy Storm, or I need him to have four monsters in hand, pretty much. That's the only way through this situation otherwise i'm just fucked that was an insane start yeah he's gonna make power tool we do main deck cyber dragon uh and i do have chimera tech so we have a chance here to just eat the power tool for free which would be really nice 
but this is a really bad start for us. A double tool. During your turn, it gains a thousand attack. If it attacks, any effects of the attack target that activate or apply on the field are negated during that battle phase. So this negates. Uh, this negates. What does it, what does it say? During your opponent's turn, your opponent cannot select a monster other than the equipped monster as an attack target. Or at least he didn't set five or whatever. So we have some chances here. They're not great though. So how do I remove this? I fucking can't. I'm gonna have to make Dark End. That's the only way around this situation. And it's not good. It's not good. Like, yeah, it's just not good. Okay. We have to make Dark End somehow. I do lose this game. That is a crazy turn one play. I'm not going to lie. All right, we'll pass. He might be scared to overcommit into Trench. We just lose this game for sure. There's no way we can win it. I'm going to dust shoot the draw face. But this looks, this looks bad. Okay, Starlight, Mirror Force, Typhoon. Starlight, Mirror Force, Typhoon. I can remember that. Starlight, Mirror Force, Typhoon. See, Typhoon's a song. He said Starlight, Mirror Force. Holy fuck. It is just Jover, dude. Yeah, you, you power tool first. You grab your equip spell. I might want to concede this one. Yeah, because power tool can run over the spy and we just lose. What is he doing? I'm going to admit defeat here. Just so he doesn't know what we're playing. Okay, that was cringe. That was crazy. That was really, really crazy. But we can take this deck on pretty easily. I don't think this deck is good or that good. Um, in general. So we should be okay to take it on. We just need some, uh, some key cards here to take it on, basically. And we need to go first. Cyber Dragon is worse going first, so I'm going to cut one. Although he is going to go for Power Tool, we're going to have a lot of ways to interrupt that. Maybe I should just keep both because it interrupts it. Maybe we cut Gore's Trag because I'm going to be attacking. So we're going to cut Gore's Trag completely. I'm going to cut Dark Armed Allure. I think cutting all four of these is pretty good. This is not really the game we want to be playing, basically. is like Dark Guy Gaming. I think we want to just be like making an eight star and setting some back row. I think like mind crush isn't bad either just because it can stop stuff. Nobleman's not bad. Kaiku has applications, but let's start off with this for now. Enemy controller is interesting because it can change his monsters, battle positions. Yeah, that's probably good enough. Mind control, brain control seem very necessary. Mirror force might not be it. I'm gonna side out mirror force. I think mirror force might be bad. Okay, how does this look? Torrential might also be bad. Mind crush might be better than torrential. Lightning vortex seems good. Lightning vortex is probably better than like torrential. But I'll leave in torrential because I'm going first. Lightning Vortex does seem very good, though. Like, just if he goes, like, self on and he goes wide, Lightning Vortex is, like, really nice at dealing with that. So, I'm not sure how we want to do this. Maybe we cut to... Eh. Torrential's so good. I would side out Dust Shoot, but I'm going second. Or I'm going first. I'll bring in the Lightning Vortex is going second. That's what I'll do. I'll bring him in going. I think going first, I'll do torrential dust shoot, and then going second, I'll do lightning vortex. Yeah, yeah, this makes a lot more sense. Set spy, set dust, set book, and do I set the other book to play around dust shoot? Honestly, sure. I'll set all three. I don't know how, I don't know how self on works. Like if you summon self on, you priority 
and yeah, I'm not sure how that works. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. This hand should do okay though, because we can like Arcanite. We can we can blow up pretty much everything in play. Like very easily. Uh reading. Hold up. I need to see what this does. While in attack position, once per turn you can roll. Okay, so it just needs to be attack position on the summon. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. So what does this get him to? I think he wants to get to uh, Slingin. I think that's the one he wants to get to here. Sure. Jesus Christ. That's healthy. All right. He says, I'm insane. Yeah, hits a five and then a six. That's pretty lucky. Uh, board den, low in defense position. Other Mortonic monsters can't be destroyed by battle. That's fine. So he's playing the bind. That's good to know about. He's playing Cyber Dragon. Also good to know about. Hmm. He's going to get another cell phone. I always feel like this is just wrong. I always feel like you should just get the board end here and like not get greedy. Like getting cell phone is really fucking greedy. You're like, what if you just roll a one? You know what I mean? Now you just have two one stars and it's like, you can't really do anything about defending them and whatnot. Let's see it. Let's see him roll a one now. Bruh, that's crazy. That's some snipe hunter shit. All right. He doesn't miss. <laughs> he doesn't miss. He don't miss. Viewers, this deck is bad. Please don't play this. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, <laughs> I was like a 50-50 chance to just do nothing. I mean, it still didn't really do anything. But <laughs> at least he gets a ratty in, I guess. Yeah, his hand is like... Okay, you have a couple of 900s and an 1800. You you summoned an agent of creation Venus. Like, that's that's something, you know? It's not nothing. It's just... <laughs> what now? <laughs> you still can't attack over the Gravekeeper's Spy, so... It's a little bit awkward. We are going to activate Spy here. I'm going to get another Spy. Like... Okay, 1100, minus 1100, you take damage, bro, there we go, there we go, there we go, cool, 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 all right, all right, all right, <laughs> this is an example of, well, I have card advantage, therefore I'm the victor type beat, <laughs> but your card advantage is like little 900 guys, <laughs> he's like throwing blackberries at me, bro, <laughs> He's like, please, do something. Oh, no. No, just the pass? Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. So I can book spy. <laughs> and then flip it. Activate. Go get descendant. This is so bad for him. Can we win the game this turn? Hold up. If I pop Ratty in. E Telly. No, what if I mind control E Telly? Do I have Urbellum like that? I don't have Urbellum. Okay, so if I mind control E Telly, I think we win the game, right? It's 2200, 4800, 6300. Not quite. I would need to. Okay, hold up. Big thing. So if I mind control e Telly, let's say I, well, I could book my spy and flip my other spy too. I could do that too. To get another monster in play. Ain't no way you play Gores, right? 
<laughs> I mean, even if he does, I can just pop him. So, yeah. Yeah, we just take Ratty in. <laughs> Ain't no way, right? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> It doesn't have more in its name. It's not Morbin Time. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is where memes go to die. This is where memes go to die. All right, folks. It's, it's Morbin Time. Yeah, this is looking tough. Book Spy. Flip Spy. Get another spy. This is game, right? I didn't run the numbers. Hold up. 22, 49, 73. Yeah, this is game. Okay. <laughs> Trag Morbia. There's 11. There's 11. Dude, Gravekeeper Spy is busted. What the fuck? <laughs> this card is so good. All right, 1,500, and game. Cool. That was kind of cool. That was a cool OGK moment. Kind of dope. What did I say I was going to do? I was going to swap Dust Shoot for Vortex. Got to get another Vortex in here somehow. Tarantula still seems okay. Maybe not. <sighs> he does play Cyber Dragon, but he can't summon it turn one. So there's that. <sighs> Man. Maybe Vortex over. Noble Man. Noble Man doesn't hit the bind. The bind is the most annoying part. That's going to be the most annoying card for sure. Haiku stops the one guy. He stops Remoten. But that's it, really. I think we're going to go with this. I think this is going to be our plan. That's it. Just keeping it straightforward, keeping it simple. And hoping we don't break, I guess. Maybe I could have cut a rekindling for Vortex. We're probably not going into rekindling mode against this deck. We're probably just beating him, like, the normal way, quote-unquote. Having compulsory is, like, a dream. Because the only thing we really lose to is Power Tool Dragon. I guess the board and lock. Um, but... Yeah. He don't miss! Four in a row, that's crazy. Four in a row! That's nuts. That's crazy. He don't miss. All right, well. Cool little uh cool little starter play there. There are some issues. I have some issues, chat, folks, comment section. What do I call you guys? People, I guess. Cringe. What does Morphtronic Mind do? It's level four or higher. I don't fuck. I'm not gonna look it up. I'll tell you that much. I'm not gonna look it up. Does shoot? Fucking cheater. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, depending on what he takes here is what it depends on it'll tell me what he has. I'm thinking going commander or gale. Just to get clear the self in. He probably takes Gale, but Thankfully, Commander and Gale are both. This card is insane, by the way. Why is nobody, like, talking about how this card is just good? It's just a three-star 1900 monster. That is just good. Like, that is just, like, objectively a good card. Yeah, he's going to take Gale. Pretty sure he has the bind. Amanda bind. And I'm going to summon Psychic Commander. Because, obviously, you know, enter battle. Inter battle. I will attack the self on. Don't mirror force me, bro. Please don't mirror force me. Thank goodness. All right, there goes his monster. 
I no longer feel that bad about my situation. He's going to take no effect. Um, he'll take 500. And we're going to set both. Everything is, is exactly how we drew it up. I think we're set up to win this one. Because how does he beat this? He literally cannot defeat this card. He can't defeat it. It's unbeatable. Undefeatable, if you will. I'm curious how he's going to go about this. He's viewing his extra deck. Brother, <laughs> I have bad news if you want a synchro. <laughs> You're going back to the hand, dog. You're going back to the hand. Talk to the hand because that's where you're going. You feel me? Okay, Totagon, come on, man. Come on. It's Morbin time to hurry the fuck up. No, I'm just kidding. It's Morbin. <laughs> All right, here it is. Remo 10. Remo 10. I saw him this, right? I don't want to deal with this. I don't want to deal with that. That's all on that. Delete. Control delete. You're gonna saw him back? I know you got Solemn. I know you got Solemn back. If he's got Solemn back, he should hold it. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Interesting. We're out here. We are simply out here. Mind control? Bro. I guess I compulse you a solemn and then we die. That's awesome. I'll still try it though. Yeah, he has his own solemn. He opened solemn, does shoot mind control? Dude. Bro. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. <laughs> What a and he hit off the fucking more Mortronic guy. I should have held the solemn. That was stupid. Yeah, I should have held the solemn. I think I misplayed this one. This is on me. I should have known he had solemn. Oh, this is fucking terrible. I just fucking lose now. I punted this one. I punted so hard using solemn. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but if he just goes like Black Rose, it's like, fine. That's why I was like, man. Okay, power tool, I guess, resolves. He just gets Megamorph in its game. If he hits it, which he will, given his luck this game. Let's see the Megamorph. Let's see it. Activate, activate the Megamorph. No, it's cool. I'll top deck Cyber Dragon. I'll top deck Cyber Dragon. I'll be, I'm alright. I put in Lightning Vortex. I, I have two top decks that are good. Cool. Gains a thousand attack. Okay. I dropped to 700. But I'll get out of this Copium. I have outs. I have like three outs. Right? Prage. Prage. Reward me for my bad play, please. Reward me for my terrible play. I want to be rewarded. I want to be never punished. Damn. That fucking sucks. I guess I just lose now. Alright. This is terrible. <laughs> this is actually the worst case scenario. Maybe I should have cited this card out. He said it was a weird solemn for sure. I'm only punished if he has his own solemn. That's literally it. I'm only punished. Like, if he has, like, Starlight Road or something, then I'm just not punished. Okay, if he doesn't have a monster, then I survive one more turn, barely, but... It's not looking good. Vortex also doesn't out, because I think... What does this guy do? If it would be destroyed, you can send one of those cards to the graveyard instead, so... If yeah, Vortex doesn't out, it has to be one of two Cyber Dragons. All right, that's probably the last time he can activate Power Tool. I don't expect he's playing more than four equips in this brick nonsense. Oh, no, he just has game. Okay, that's cool. Sure. Please mess this up somehow. Um, okay, please Synchro. 
Please synchro. Please synchro. Please synchro. Please make a second power tool. I need him to mess this up somehow. Thank God. <laughs> Thank goodness. Priority. Okay, we're each punting this. All right, get that shit out of here. Cool. He just he gave it back to me. He threw I threw it and he threw it back to me. Why did I set fire dog? I meant to set magician. What the fuck happened? Okay, well it doesn't matter too much. Cause I can make what do I make here. How does this card work again on my turn? Your opponent can't so battles this card. It's destroyed at the end of the damage step. What the fuck? So I have to make Colossal in defense. Or I could set Flamvel Magician and hope he doesn't top deck a monster. What do I got here? I guess if I set Flamvel Magician and I top deck a dark monster, I can go dark end. So it's actually a path to winning instead of a path to not losing. And this also, what is it? Any effects of the attack target that activate or apply on the field? I guess Colossal wouldn't be negated by this. I could have walled up with Colossal, but that's still not great. The viewers, I lied. Deck's crazy. Did you top deck knock? Morph best deck. Let's go. Oh, he topped like a monster. Cool. GG's. 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 I deserve to lose that one. I definitely messed that up with the Solemn. That was really stupid. And anyway, in any case, we're moving on. We're moving on. We started off a little bit. We gave him a freebie, all right? I won the last two Total Gauntlets. I got to give Totogon a freebie every now and again, you know? He can't, he can't keep losing. You know, he can, he can lose some of the time but eventually i'm going to make a mistake you know eventually it's going to happen the next deck i have ready for you guys is this one right here this is a deck that can't possibly brick <laughs> it's my quick draw hero deck this deck is insane probably bad but really fun and that's what we're going to be doing today is all of that nonsense insane bad but probably well actually no this deck's not bad this deck can high roll some crazy fucking hands and i mean i mean crazy fucking hands like this deck can high roll like hands that you're looking at it and you're like wow i can't believe like a deck made this in edison format like you can have like future fusion lone fire fucking quick draw and you have like turn one like absolute zero drill titanium with like three negate it's just like fucking nuts shit you know what i mean but you got a high roll, so we're out here gambling. All right, we're out here gambling. This time I'm going to go with the uh, rock. I think I lost the last rock, paper, scissors, didn't I? I did. That was unfortunate. <laughs> that was really, truly unfortunate. Because if we had won the rock, paper, scissors, oh, it would have been so easy. That was some of the luckiest gameplay I've ever seen. I had to throw, too. LMAO. <laughs> Hopefully, we win this rock, paper, scissors. Or maybe it's just Totagon's day. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe we get lucky. Maybe he gets... This deck is for Nate, Teddy, and Brother D. Y'all goaded. All right. If this deck is for those guys, then I got to pick rock. I knew it. I knew he would go scissors next. You got to be rock solid when playing rock, paper, scissors. AKA, just pick rock every time. You'll win every time. Or, try, or tie every time. Well, we drew Titanial, which fucking sucks, but such is life. At least I can set up to summon Titanial next turn, which is, you know, like what it's what anyone can ask for. Foolish Dandy, get some tokens. See if you can discover my theme for day, viewers, Mr. E3. Leave a comment below what you think the theme is. Is the theme... Morbius. Alright, Lone Fire. 
like the like the channel and subscribe yes like my entire channel go to every single video <laughs> and like the videos and then subscribe also yes while you're at it sack the attack position that's a good theme though i agree i think morbius is a good theme and a good feature film this is terrifyingly unfortunate that we've drawn our titanium but um like I've mentioned in previous videos, Sevilla has ran the numbers and every subsequent video where I've drawn Titanial, um, I am apparently 33% more likely to draw Titanial or something like that. It was like, it's like 29 or 30%, something like that, more likely to draw Titanial in my opening hand on camera, <laughs> which is insane. Uh, Sevilla went back and watched every single video where I had played Titanial and in my opening hand, I just draw it one third more than everyone else does. Or than I should statistically. And as you can see, it's part of the course this game. He's saying, wow. This is so fucking cringe, man. The one game I opened Titanial. That's so fucking stupid. This game would be Jover, dude. This game would be Jover. I mean, it's probably still okay as long as he doesn't have Chariot. But if he has Chariot, I'm just fucking leaving. Holy shit. This is so cringe. This is so cringe. This deck probably has a terrible Gladiator Peace matchup. <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. This is so insanely cringe. Hopefully he doesn't play Sekitor, but if you play Tiger, you play Sekitor, so... Yep. It's happening. It's happening, folks. He might go Sammy. He could go Sammy and Search Chariot if he doesn't already have it. He might need to do that. Because if he doesn't already have Chariot, I can just Black Rose, whatever. It's not that big of a deal. It sucks, but it's, like, not that big of a deal. Dude, what are you thinking about? <laughs> what are you thinking about? Lameo summon Secutor. <laughs> Dej. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to reverse sweep Totagon. I'm gonna have to reverse sweep him. There's only there's only one way. What Sammy can do. Sammy can search the chariot that you might need. But you can just get Sam Knight here, I guess. Or you can make Heraclinos. But Heraclinos is like bad if you don't have chariot. If you open chariot here, like okay, you open chariot, like what can I do? You open Test Tiger, Guy, Chariot, and I don't play a deck with back row. And I open my Titanial. Like, it's just going to happen, you know? Why did he go Bestiari here? Is he going to go Geyser? What the fuck is this? Is he going to just leave them all in play? That's kind of base, too. I don't think leaving them in play is, like, that good. Because you know I have Titanial. So I'm just going to tribute some in Titanial. It's like, what do you do then? Oh, he's gonna go Geyserus? That's fucking crazy. I wouldn't do this. I would have gone Heraclinos. I was gonna do this to out my Titan to make sure I can't summon Titanial. Sure, fine, but like. But then what? Do you have Chariot? He has to have Chariot. Huh? Okay, that's fucking dumb. Alright, show me Chariot. Chariot Solemn, we're going next. What's there to think about? You just Chariot this. <laughs> okay, thank you. Alright, we're going next, we're going next, we're going next. This matchup should be good, post-board, because we have so many, like, hateful cards for it. I am going to side in the Decrees, I think. They're normally not that good, but we have Triple Book, so we'll be fine. We're gonna have to do some pretty serious doctoring for this sideboard situation though. I don't think the dandelion stuff is that good. So are we going full hero monarchs? Is that the plan? And I think the answer is yes, we are. So in order to do that, we have to cut all of the quick draw dandelion debris stuff, all of it. And then swap frog stays, battle fader needs to come in over gores and decree the second decree i do want maybe over pot of avarice 
Okay, looking at this, this looks sharp, but mind control does nothing. That's the issue that I'm seeing here. Mind control does nothing with, uh, with my deck here. I guess it works with Cyber Valley. It's just, a, it's just not very good. I could leave in Lone Fire Titanium. Or I could just leave in the mind control, just have a dead mind control. I could also leave in, I could bring in Gores. Gores over mind control. Let's just leave in mind control. It might be useful. I might need to like Monarch something through a chariot so I can use mind control to like bait. I can use mind control to bait stuff too. And maybe I just draw this Hyper Valley, like who knows. This looks not terrible configuration versus Glads, but who knows? We'll see. Maybe he just has the nuts again. Like, I don't, I don't know, man. All right. Future Fusion's pretty good. Royal Decree's pretty good. Mind Control, of course, drawing it. I'm trying to think how I play this one. I think this one is like, I make absolute zero turn one, straight up. I think I go Future Fusion, send Malicious, send Ocean, send Malicious. Set Treeborn, activate Miracle, banish Treeborn, banish Ocean, special absolute zero, Set Royal Decree and pass. Worst case scenario here, he has like Heavy Storm fucking Grand Mole. But like, th that's insane. And he would have to have that like here now. You know what I mean? Like, he's probably going to have to lose at least one card to out the Absolute Zero. And we'll get another one in a few turns. We have Mali Ryza for follow up. We have Decree to shut off. Like, if he just goes set five or some shit like that, we have Decree. So I think we're okay, um, but he could have some combination attacks. And that's what I'm a little bit afraid of here, are the combination attacks. Sam Knight, sure. That's fine. Yeah, this is what I want. I want him to set the cards and just pass the turn. I'm going to go Royal Decree. Draw for turn, it is card trooper. And now we can pretty much shut him out. I'm gonna go Mali, activate, banish, special Mali, sack for Ryza, target the Sam Knight. It's funny that we drew this fucking mind control. I am an unbothered king, unless he has like books here, that is annoying. Book will get him out of it. Book the zero? No. Just gonna take both. Alright, pass. Next turn we get another zero. He has to have like Prisma Tiger. Like he has to have cards he you would have had to have last turn. So yeah, he has to have like Prisma Tiger or like Tiger Glad. He has to have Tiger Glad Book. Um yeah, Tiger Glad book does it. There's a Glad. So does he have the book? Yeah, he's got the book. Okay. That's fine. Um, what are you typing? Bro, I have no damage step? Shrink. Okay. Cool, we'll take 400. That's fine. Like this doesn't this like straight up doesn't matter. I guess he goes best he pops a royal decree, but then I just get another absolute zero. That's fine. And battle phase, sure. He's got to go bestiary. Oh, he might have to pop future fusion here. Although I'm not sure. He has to pop one of these. I'm just not sure which one he has to pop. I think it might. It depends on his back row, I guess. If he pops decree, it tells me something about his back row. But if he pops future fusion, then... Maybe his back row is, like, not good. Having turn one uh, absolute zero was really nice there. 
Royal Decree putting in a lot of work here. And the mind control, like, should give us a game shot. So we should be okay. Oh my god. Neighbor's car alarm going off. Okay, here's Bestiari in defense. Pop Future Fusion. Yeah, he's he's just scared of double zero and then my control should give us. So the card I was dude, turn your fucking car alarm off, bro. Oh my god. I can't even think straight. Middle three. Gimme that guy. Don't have Book of Moon. And we'll go next. That worked out really well. I think being able to side out all of the plant stuff is nice. I'm gonna just run it back. I'm not gonna get too crazy with it. I don't think like having Gorge over mind control is better. I think he has just too many tools to deal with this. It would force him into Mermillo, which is funny, but yeah, I think it's fine. Our deck doesn't do that great going second against his deck. That's unfortunate. But we don't even like we don't even have Turbo Warrior. Because I cut it to make room for the fusions, which would be like a way we could auto win against this deck, but we don't have it, so. Bro, turn off your car alarm. Oh my god. They just be like working on cars and like just firing the car alarm whenever. Phoenix Wing is good, Typhoon is good. I just need a hero and then we're cooking. But I don't play a lot of heroes in this list. So we may never see a hero this game. Which would be Sag. But we'll make it work. Gladiator Proving Ground. Oh my god, turn off your fucking car alarm. Holy shit. I'm actually gonna lose my goddamn mind. I hope you guys can't hear that. You can definitely hear it though. If I can hear it, you can hear it. I know how it goes. Alright, Laquari summoned. How many back row do you have this time, Totagon? Just two? That's doable. Holy hell, what a what a fucking draw. That is such a bullshit draw. I'd be so pissed if I was him. Alright, do we just blind? We going in blind? Is that what's happening here? Fuck it, we're going in blind. Fuck it. Let's hit that one. What is it? What you got? Oh, that doesn't do anything. So quick draw stuff, then hero stuff, game two. What kind of wizardry is that foot here? Damn, I hope that's not a typhoon. If that's a typhoon, that's really bad. I have to future fusion though. We have to go for it. I don't have other plays. Okay. This is resolving, then I want to send Swap Frog and Evil Guy, I believe. Or is it Swap Frog, Mally? No, it's Swap Frog, Evil Guy. Mally would get the Mallys out of the deck. Evil Guy is probably a better draw than Mally. Yeah, okay. Um, let's go Swap Frog Mally, and this, this plays around Crow too a little bit, unless he crows the Mally here. Oh, he could, malicious, I guess he could Chariot me if he has Double Chariot, but I don't think he has Double Chariot, and he would wait, yeah, he would wait if he had a Chariot, so we're gonna go grab Malicious, yeah, I think this is better. Like, we don't play tuners, so it's just, like, there's no reason for me to have the malicious as leftover. Whereas having the evil guy can, like, totally do something. I'm gonna go Miracle Fusion now. If he has DD Crow, then that'll work. Okay, we're gonna summon Absolute Zero. Dude, I opened the fucking nuts two games in a row. This is crazy. Alright, attack. What do you got? What secret magic you got? You got a deep prison? What you got? Oh, you're just dead? Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good for me. No cat. All right. Set wind blast. Pass. I think we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. It's not, not a bad situation by any means, actually. We got, a, we got a way to interact. We got absolute zero. We got... Uh, the future fusion draw was just godly that that was undeserved luck honestly but 
honestly deserved in a way that Totagon decided to play Gladiator Beasts in a four fun first to five, but or best of five, you know what I mean? I, I think honestly deserved if I win this, but we can get into technicalities later on, you feel me? Phoenix Wing gonna combo with our Treeborn really nicely. Checking his grave. Keep checking it, bro. Keep checking it. In order to defeat this absolute zero, he's gonna have to lose some sort of like important resource, basically. By the way, the swap frog is the it's the new tech. I've seen people playing like one swap frog and like quick draw and like one swap frog and heroes and stuff, and it's like it's kind of good. <laughs> straight up. Okay, here's Prisma. This does nothing. It like straight up does nothing. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's fine. Activates Prisma. Cool. Sounds good. Reveal Geyseris sends best Yari. Special Tiger. Activate Tiger. I chain Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. Target the Prism. I don't even have to do that. That's the crazy thing is I don't even have to do that. I could just let my zero die. Um yeah, that's fine. That doesn't fucking do anything. Like, he has to have so much here in order to get past anything. No priority. I'm sure. That's fine. I guess if he hits the future fusion, it is a little annoying. But then we just like Phoenix Wing his back row and then. Uh, summon is okay. I would just Phoenix Wing his back row. I just gonna special another tiger. Summon is still okay. I, I don't know. I guess if he has Call of the Haunted, this is a little annoying. Hmm. We'll do priority on this one. Target this guy, I think. He has to have Call of the Haunted here. I guess he has to have Solemn. He would have solemned my future fusion. Chain wind blast hit the prisma. Now he has double tiger in play. His tiger in play, and we'll be able to clear that pretty easily. He could call of the haunted bestiary. That would be like a way for him to get out of this situation. And call of the haunted would make sense to set next to chariot. But he has to go into Marmillo. Oh no, he has Laquarian grave too. That's right. Okay, Foolish Burial is not really doing me any good here, but I could set up a second Absolute. I think there's really no reason to do that. Prisma's on top of his deck. I'm just going to hold my cards and run over the Test Tiger. He says, not like this. Deserved for bringing Glads. I spelled Glad. I spelled it Alds. I can't, I can't type. It says, that was so bad. Yeah, just like Glads. Played like it was Torrential Tribute. How the fuck would that play? How would playing both Tigers play around Torrential at all? <laughs> but it, isn't, that, isn't that just playing into Torrential more? <laughs> no, I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to pass. Next turn we get another zero. We've got Miracle for a third zero. I feel like it's Jover. It's Jover for our boy. We open the nuts. I, that's just what heroes do. We just open the nuts, all right? But, you know, alas. Alas, I deserved it. I opened terribly the first game. Ooh, Rise is pretty good. Rise is pretty darn good. Give me the second zero. I just sack for Ryza. Target his back row. If it was torrential, he for sure would have hit the fucking first zero, right? Yeah, of course. So, and he would have hit the second one here too. So it's not torrential. Normal Ryza, zero one Ryza two target back row. Ryza's so fucking gross. This card is disgusting, by the way. This card should see more play. Yeah, 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 yeah
one one all right it's heating up it's heating up i deserve that victory this deck is cool this deck is really cool don't sleep on this type of deck maybe my control ain't it but there's some other stuff you could do with this deck i think it's cool because you can side out all of the hero stuff or you can side out all of the plant stuff which is cool just like very mobile modal deck all right next up i'm going to be showing you guys some of the most cursed shit i've ever built in my life I named it Satan Frogs because it looks like Satan himself designed this deck list. Don't think about it. Don't ask questions. We're just going to get into the game, all right? Don't even think about it. Don't even think about it. Oh my gosh. It, this is... If I had to explain the thought process that went into this deck, you don't. You don't want to know. You just would... If I had to explain it, you would... You would be harmed. You would be physically harmed. Good luck. Have fun. Totagon. Good luck, have fun. I'll give him a little heart. He's been he's been so kind. He's been so sweet. He's been so loving and caring and tender. He even brought me a free win for round two. He says, bro, that deck was nuts. It's wild. Wait, wait for the upload. Too many curveballs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, you can't prep for that deck because it's got like six different things going on. You're just like, how do I side? I don't even know. But you just realize that the deck kind of breaks and doesn't have trap cards. And then you can kind of play like, I literally can't make any assumptions. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's Edison format. You have to... You have to have the new stuff. You have to have the sauce. I feel like showing up without the sauce is like, what are you even doing? What did I say last time? Pick rock every time. I'm going to go against that. I'm going to pick paper this time. He's not going to pick scissors this time. He's going to pick rock again. Fucking dude, he went rock scissors again. He went rock scissors again. Who does that? This one is for brother D. Oh, he's playing black wings. This is going to be tough. If he's playing black wings, it's going to be tough, but we have a decent hand for black wings. We've got messenger, gravity bind, so... We got some ways to fight it. <laughs> Don't look at this hand and think. All right. Don't think. Oh, Thunder King. Beautiful. It's going to be locking him up more than it's going to be locking me. All right. Oh, no, no, no. This is exactly what I wanted. This is exactly what I wanted. I'll show you why. So we're going to go set dupe frog. I kind of want to hang on some of these cards, but we might need the water art down. Gravity Bind's the, the one to lead on. The earlier you activate Messenger, the more annoying it is. So uh, I'm going to set... I really want Gravity Bind to stick around. I'm going to set Gravity Bind. I'm not sure we're going to need Skill Drain in this matchup. I'm not sure we're going to need it, so I'm not going to set it yet. You have to be really careful about your spaces. We're definitely going to need Gravity Bind. Whatever he's playing, we're going to need Gravity Bind. And I'm definitely going to set the water art, because no matter what, we're going to activate water art at some point. Maybe not right now, but at some point, we're going to activate water art. Okay, maybe I will set the drain. If he sacks for Caius, I'm going to really want this drain down. I just don't know enough. I just don't know enough, so I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. I'm, Thunder King doesn't tell me Caius. It, it could be. Don't get me wrong. It could be Caius, but it doesn't lead me to believe Caius for, for reasons, you know? So... And I'm okay with, like, hanging out here for a minute. He's going to attack. We're going to reveal Dupe Frog. He's going to take 100. Very nice. So now we have first part of our dupe lock down. If we find more dupes, we can set up the dupe lock. Substitute. We have five ways to set up the dupe lock here. There's that substitute. That's also going to turn on our solidarity, which is very nice. We may not use the solidarity this game, but... It will turn on our solidarity. So if I summon priority substitute, I could just summon the substitute. I don't even need to activate it. Thinking about activating. Okay, I'm going to activate it. Yeah, I'm going to activate it. Priority. Activate substitute. Do you have Solon? Does he want to Solon this? He might want to Solon this. If he has it. Let's see Royal Oppression. He might have Royal Oppression. Divine Wrath. Hmm. Okay. Um, not what I was expecting. Sure, that's that's okay. This is maybe Counter Fairies? Yeah, Honest Thunder King Divine Wrath is maybe Counter Fairies. On Resolution, I uh, think uh, can I read it? 
I want to see what it does. Okay. Um, if you negate the activation of spell trap monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summon this way, activate these effects. What is this effect again? Target one monster in your graveyard, special summon it. Oh, we'll chain water art. Yeah, so this is definitely counter fairies. I'll chain water art. Chain. And I'll probably... It, depending on what his hand is, I may not discard the Vendalgian. Says you're fucking with me, dog. I may not solemn this. I may let this resolve, because I have bind. Or I may not take it with water art. But bind needs to resolve, which is the problem. It's brain control. I think. Okay, brain control is annoying. I could let him have the Vandalgian. It kind of locks up his board too, which is nice. Taking brain control is good because it like just makes sure that like my jam tokens sit around, I guess, when I get to them. Uh, yeah, I'll go brain control. Brain control. He can have the Vandalgian. I don't really care about the Vandalgian. Um... Yeah, you're gonna have the, the dog in. Alright. Uh, this is tricky. This is tricky. This is tricky. So, Messenger of Peace, he can attack with Honest. Which I don't like. But it may force a negate here. So, I'm gonna go Messenger of Peace. And then I'm going to pass, I think. If I set skill drain, how does it, how is skill drain going to benefit me here? I think I should pass. Messenger of Peace. I'm going to try to resolve Gravity Bind. I think once I resolve Gravity Bind, I'll be good to go. So I'm going to take this turn to try and resolve Gravity Bind. The Messenger of Peace was a dark bribe bait, but he didn't bite. Because he has Honest, I think. But he might have Dark Bribe here, Solemn Judgment, something like that. Okay, attacks. Once this resolves, though, I have a feeling it's going to be really hard for his deck to get rid of it. It's going to bounce the Honest. Yeah, that's fine. That's chill. Cool. All right. Wetlands is part one. I am going to activate it now, just because I want to get it in under his counter magic. So I'll activate it now. And then we'll pass. We are up in terms of uh, deck cards and deck. So if he doesn't play out to this stuff, we can we can deck him out ideally. Unifrog is a good draw. I'm going to summon it and attack him for I can't attack him. Maybe I don't need to summon it. Maybe I can set it. It's a little annoying if he draws, like, Sangin or something, though. But that's fine. I think it's okay. I'll pass. I could have activated Solidarity there, but again, I'm not sure how many of my back row spaces I'm going to need. And I can always activate Solidarity at a later time. Passes the turn. Draw for turn is Dupe Frog. I'm going to take my time here. I'm going to get this dupe frog into play and pass. It appears we've reached an impasse. Joker versus Batman. Which one of us is the Joker and which one of us is Batman? Kappa. We don't want to activate this guy if possible. We just want to ping him. So I don't really want to 
More back row. Okay, new back row. Yeah, I just don't want to activate effects if possible. Starlight Road is a good find. Gives us a preliminary defense. I'm going to hold off one more turn on the Messenger. I'm going to set Road, and I'm going to set Drain, and then I'm going to pass. Just 76 more turns, easy. <laughs> Kappa. He may deck out. He may deck out. If he locks his spell trap zone, he may deck out. Yeah. I don't know if he'll lock his spell trap zone, though. Okay. Maybe I should be playing more than one uni frog. This deck is interesting. All right. Now's the time. Is now the time? No, I still don't have a dark bribe to defend my gravity bind or my road. I kind of want to wait till I have a bribe. Because, like, I want to flip this and then play into, like, Mirror Force. But he might just have fucking deeper than, you know? It's not getting any easier. Is it? Or it might. It might. It might. It might. It might. If I find Dark Bribes, it might get better. But he's just more likely to draw into that shit. You know what I mean? But once the board is locked, his board is pretty fucking locked here. Like, his board is locked straight up. Um, I'm probably winning this one. Maybe. Maybe I'm winning. I don't know. Not sure. Now his board is locked. So that's good. At least. Okay, that's a bait. That's a good bait. I'll continue to pay the 100 because I have a bait now. Or no, I shouldn't have. I should have not paid the 100 this turn. We'll do it next turn. We'll go for it next turn. It's not like he can do anything more. All right. Yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. This is a good situation for us. <laughs> we could also just wait till we find Iron Wall to really do anything. <laughs> now you guys see why I call it Satan Frogs. This is Satan frogs. Only Satan would play this deck. It is so satanic. It is so evil and cursed. I wish Gravity Bind was at more than two so I could play this deck more realistically. Giant Trunade? Dude, who plays that? Dude, who plays that? That's so fucking lame. All right. Well, if we survive the turn, then we're okay. It's not likely, though. Okay. Note to self, he plays Giant True Nade. So we're going to need the bribes for sure. We're not going to be able to search off Dupe Frog here either, which is kind of frustrating. But that being said, if he gets this wrong, like if he attacks this one wrong, then we have chances here. He's just locking his board up even more. Yeah, this is good. If he attacks the Unifrog with Vandalgian, he has double honest. He could double honest over the Dupe Frog. Battle phase. Oh, this is good. Yeah, he just spent his true nade for no reason. Doom Caliber. All right. It's Dupe Frog. Take 100. Dewfrog will still activate if he runs it over. Can't have to attack dupe. This is duh. Yeah. <laughs> That's how that car works. Hmm. I could have been swinging, but. It might have just 
encouraged him to go for this shit earlier, which is better that he didn't, that we didn't swing, I guess. He's going to attack. Activate dupe. Forces Doom Caliber. Yep. All right, we'll take 38. It's bad, but I don't think he has many more outs to Gravity Bind, besides like straight up Counterspell. But he might just have a Counterspell, and we just don't have anything for a Counterspell right now. We could have gone for the Wave Motion Force last turn, but he just wouldn't have activated it, because... Yeah, him playing True Nade... is cringe that's gonna make this matchup really hard I should have been going for the uni frog shit his hand is double honest all right swap frog is a good draw trap dust shoot all right never mind swap frog is a bad draw Man, now he knows he can just counter gravity bind and win. That's really annoying. So, main phase one, hopefully we draw into some stuff here. I'm gonna lead on messenger because it's a forced negate. It says I'm going to scream. Isn't, okay, that's okay. Cool, that worked. I'm gonna activate the wetlands now. Activate wave motion cannon. Let's see if he wants to negate this. I'm going to set Starlight, Skill Drain, and Gravity Bind, and pass. And hopefully he just doesn't have something to out Gravity Bind. If he does, it's like, okay, we fucking lose. But, like, that's that, really, I guess. He says, let's talk about this. Where are your dark bribes? You not play Dark Bribe? Okay. Let's see it. Let's see the Dark Bribe. I know you have it. He has to have it. He doesn't have it. Oh my god. Holy shit, the game is over. Wait, it's actually over. <laughs> I guess he has seven turns of top deck Typhoon, but... That's crazy. This card is dumb. This card is really stupid. Oh, now he can't even typhoon because he locked his back row. Oh, I feel so bad. All right, stand by phase. I'll pay 100. This is going to be pretty good versus him, too. He's probably playing Bountiful Artemis. I think that's his uh, deck. Dude, he locked his back row. They can't even... Does Divine Wrath, can you negate anything? Oh, I guess you can negate your own monster with Divine Wrath. He could Divine Wrath his own Honest, if he has to. Uh, okay. Cool. Damn, dude. Lots of spherical boys doing some work here. Finally, we get a swap frog. Very nice. Very nice. He's 2200 with the wetlands. There's really no reason for me to attack with him. I'm just going to set him and pass. This will make it even harder. If he does play Typhoon, it'll make it even harder for him to game shot me. Basically, every monster in play makes it harder for him to game shot me. I'm so close. I need five more turns. That's all I need. Prage. Prage. Five more turns. Prage. Prage. This matchup's not going to be easy post board. I can already tell. Flip Honest. Okay. Sure. He's going to have to Divine Wrath his own Honest here, I'm pretty sure. 
I think it's the only way out. Yes. He might chain Torrential too, which, all right, sure. Uh, that's fine. Okay. He just five for one to himself. Interesting. He must have done that to get Typhoon live or something like that, just to clear up a space. Heavy Storm. I do have Starlight Road. He has seven tools. Okay. That works. Okay. We lose everything. Yeah, this is for sure Counter Fairies. Doom Caliber. Okay. All right, I just need to top deck a 2,000 defense guy, and I'm chilling. One time. That works too. <laughs> All right. Well, now, I'm going to set both Drain and Rivalry, and then I'm going to flip Rivalry on him. In the draw phase. So he can't summon anything further beyond this Doom Caliber. Eventually I'll find a win. Eventually. <laughs> this deck has been overperforming. Honestly, oh that's pretty much guaranteed a win. I'm I'm certain of it, right? Dark Bribe, that just stops anything he can go for. I guess Sangin is his way to victory. I need to find a way to wall Sangin. That's my that's my game plan. That's so funny. We finally got there with the with the machine. I'm going to activate the machine. <laughs> I'm going to pass. <laughs> It's time. <laughs> Where's the right token? I have to find it. There has to be a token for the jam breeding machine, right? There has to be one. Where is he? Where's the slime token? There has to be one. You can't tell me there isn't a slime token. No. What is he trying to do? What did he do? Summon another monster? Misclick? Misclick? <laughs> okay. <laughs> How is there no gem token? This just seems... This is... Honestly? I'll say it. A little bit racist. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. It's okay. No longer... No longer upset. Alright. <laughs> Standby phase. Jam. It's time to jam. And we'll pass. <laughs> it's time to jam, folks. It's time to jam. <laughs> I cannot summon monsters. However, I can jam. I can jam. <sighs> oh, this is amazing. This is so good. This is everything I ever wanted. This is so good. This is perfect. This is this is Yu-Gi-Oh at its finest. This is what this is I've constructed a mystic mine somehow. Trunade and Heavy Storm are gone. There's no way he also plays Typhoon. There's no way. There's no way I don't believe it. Oh wait, I have Dark Bribe. I I do believe it and I'm totally fine. Oh, wait, I'm actually crushing it right now. Sets monster, okay. Okay, sure. I'll allow for this. Oh, spirit barrier, even better. Give me another one. Pass the turn. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's see it. I have constructed the wall. <laughs> Even if he outs this. I will have a wall of slime tokens for which he cannot... I uh, can't have rivalry up. Nice try, though. <laughs> nice try. <laughs> he says, I'm tired, bro. This is only game one. Keck. This is only game one. This deck is too nuts. <laughs> You're not ready for it. <laughs> this is only... <laughs> you have less cards in deck. Therefore, I am the victor. <laughs> Space Typhoon. He's shotgunning it. Targeting level limit. I'll just dark drive it now. <laughs> All right, that's gonna be that's gonna be game one. That's game one, right? Come on, come on. That's that's game one, right? You don't have more, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. By right, next turn, I'm gonna water art him. And then I'm gonna activate Imperial Iron Wall so he can't Caius me. So we're gonna water art first and then Iron Wall, I think is the game plan. It says, can you look at his deck? Sure, that's fine. I'm like, you don't have more outs. There's no way he has more than these three. I don't believe it. I don't believe he has more than three outs to this. His deck looks miserable to face, but mine looks even more miserable to face. And for that reason, I'm happy. For that reason, I'm glad. I don't think skill drain is that good here. Wait, what does this guy's do? The magic card is like, pop something, right? Inflict 15. Okay, target one card, your pawn control. Oh, okay. This is the one we have to be careful of. Him negating trap cards. So we have to like shotgun our trap cards ASAP, basically. His rat. <laughs> you milled me in Pokemon. Now I will mill you in Yu Gi Oh! <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. This is so fucking based. This deck is disgusting. It says, Not if I concede. True. True. Okay, 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 okay. How do I beat this deck again? Shadow Imprisoning Mirror? How does that work? Dust Tornado seems pretty good. Mind Crush seems very good at stopping Vandalgian. That seems very good. Battle Fader seems probably necessary in some capacity. You'll notice I have these two Gotham Z called. That's if he had played Sabres again. <laughs> I think these four are very good. Messenger of Peace is okay. He does have that Honest, which is annoying. I don't like that guy. That guy's cringe. But Messenger of Peace is kind of like a win con for us. We could also just jam Breeding Spirit Barrier Messenger. That's like kind of a win con. Imperial Iron Wall doesn't look like it's doing much. I'll happily side that out. I think we don't need three Starlights. I think two is plenty. Skill Drain. I don't think we need two. I think one is plenty. Um... I don't know if this is going to be a solidarity matchup so much, so I'm going to side them both out. Bring the messenger as well. Wetlands is interesting. We could we could side in Necro Valley. Okay. I think the biggest issue here is that we're just starting with more cards than him. So, like, I need to actually win the game. So maybe I need to leave one solidarity. Because I need to actually, like, win this game. So, like... Maybe my game plan is go long and then Solidarity Jam Breeding Machine. I think that might be my game plan here. Rivalry seemed good. A lot of these cards seemed like pretty good. Do I have Gozen in here? I don't. Maybe I don't need another Starlight. I'm making myself incredibly vulnerable to Heavy Storm, but... Wave Motion also is just a win con. Maybe I don't need Solidarity because I have win Wave Motion. I could side out Wetlands and then use Necro Valley as a way to interact with Vendalgian, Call of the Haunted. Maybe Chaos Sorcerer is problematic for us. I don't think we need Wetlands. I think we can win the game without pumping up our cards, which is really funny. 
So we're going to go like this. This is this is a satanic deck. This is a deck that I hope none of you ever have to play or face. But here I am doing what I must. Shadow Mirror good. Hmm. Light Mirror doesn't stop Bountiful because I think it's a continuous effect. It does stop Honest from bouncing, but I don't really care about that. It stops Thunder King, but I don't really care about Thunder King either. I think we're just going to be done siding. I think we're just going to run it back. So if we draw the 2000 Defender Boys, don't activate them. That's just set substitute. We don't need to activate it. There's really no reason to. This hand is good. Like, this hand is outright good. Okay. Yeah, the hand is good. The hand is good. The vibes are correct. I am chilling. 2000 boy acquired. Let's start things off with a set dust tornado. Simple. Simple. Keep it simple here. Set dust tornado, set dupe frog, pass. Keep it very simple. I want Dust Tornado to try and pick off one of these cards if possible. Maybe. Maybe we pick off cards. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't pick off anything. I want to hit the new one. The new one seems the most annoying. Let's get that one out of here. Bottomless? Okay, that card does actual nothing versus our deck. That's unfortunate. Uh, I'll set the water art off the dust chute. Off return, dark bribe. Okay. That could be Ryko or Morphing Jar. So. Wait, he went first. No, we're actually just winning. Yeah, we actually just win. Set, set. Activate Messenger of Peace. The problem is I'm not drawing Bountiful as often as I draw self on. Even if, if you draw a Bountiful, I deck you faster. <laughs> like legit. He's like, I really don't know how I win this. You have a spell trap removal. I mean, it's not too bad. Setting back row, setting monster, flip jar, flip jar, flip jar, flip jar. No jar. Okay. Interesting. Draw for turn is road. All right. Well, we have double negate plus water art plus ratio. So I have double negate to stop heavy storm. I have single negate for true nade, but I don't think we'll be in too much trouble versus true nade because I can chain water art grand mole that's annoying but i have skill drain so that's fine flip honest also fine flip honest sure i'm gonna let my monsters get flipped face up here tax the dupe frog right Take 900. Now he's going to attack the set. Can't have to attack dupe. <laughs> he's like, I hate this frog. I mean, fair. Fair enough. He's not pog. No, don't say that. That's so hurtful. That's so hurtful. That's so hurtful. Oh my gosh, this game has gotten to be the most cursed game. No, 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 no. Skill drain on attack declaration. <laughs> on declaration. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you will be forced to negate skill drain. You will be forced to negate it. <laughs> Solemn judgment. Okay. So what do I do here? I bribe this? I don't think so. I just let that happen. 
Okay. And then he's gonna activate. Wait, he's gonna activate Vandalgian. I'm gonna chain. I think. I chain the water art now. This is bad though, because now I don't have a way of dealing with Duke for, with uh dealing with. Summons Vandalgian. He pops. Yeah, this is bad. I'm actually fucked. I'll activate water art. I'll chain water. Chain water art. Hit the Vandalgian. Okay. I was going to use my water art to kill the mole, but... Yeah, this is actually bad now. I need to draw an out ASAP. This is pretty bad. I can't lie. Mind Crush would be the best draw, I think. He can tag me for 1100 still. Yep. That's pretty annoying. That one already attacked. You took 900. Yeah. I still have road bribe. I could have bribed this all in, but I'm saving it to win my counter war later. I need a fucking out to this stupid grand mole. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have many outs to that guy. Maybe we, uh, Totogon needs to have a child because he has such a dad sense of humor. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You normal grand mole this turn, right? Yes, of course. I think. I don't fucking remember. Okay, torrential works. That straight up works. Um, perfect draw. Actual perfect, actual perfect draw. Totally perfect here. Holding this bribe, hopefully going to pay off for me. That was a scary Vandalgian, but I think we should be okay. That Dust Tornado was really bad for me. All right, let's see it. What does he have? Hopefully he only has one stop. If he has a double stop here, it's really bad. Oh, he has no stops. That's awesome. Let's see if he has a Divine Wrath. He could Divine Wrath this. I may let that resolve. Okay, this is going to happen. That means I'm going to go get Unifrog. And I can start poking him to death, which is really funny. Pass. Okay. Draws road. Not ideal, but fuck it. We ball. Oh, yep. Attack. Mirror Force. Sure. Okay. Don't need to set the second road. I just pass. He's out both his Honest and his Grand Mole, so I don't think he can attack under Messenger. I think we kind of just win. We have Road for Storm, Bribe for Trunade, and I guess he still has Typhoon. But he needs to draw all three of them by the time I draw something else. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's so funny. That's really funny. If I lose to this, it's going to be really funny. Rivalry. Okay, I can rivalry lock him at least. Do I want to pay? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll pay. And then I'll set rivalry. And then pass the turn. Draw phase. I'll flip rivalry. So now he can only summon rock monsters, which is good. Now I can just stop paying for messenger too. That just buys me more time. I need to find jam breeding machine. No, that's not very good. What do I need to find here? Mirror force, I guess. A monster would be good. Set solemn pass. Yeah, we no longer need the messenger because he can't summon anything else. I don't think he plays other rock monsters. We have six turns, or we have five turns to get out of this, which is not great. If I draw wave motion next turn, that also might do it. If he forces the solemn, our clock drops. Jam breeding, that's a start. I'll lead on that. I need this right now. He's gonna magic train me. Um, I think. I 
Honestly, that's fine. That's fine. Hopefully he doesn't have another Vendalga in here. Oh, he can't even activate Vendalga again because of Rivalry. No. I'll just pass. I'll draw another out. Copium. I have a lot of monsters still left. Okay, we have three turns after this. So we have this draw step, and then one, two, three after that. There's another jam breeding. Buys us a lot of time. Pass the turn. This jam breeding might end up fucking me, though. Because it gives him direct attacks. Maybe I shouldn't have activated it and hoped to draw a monster. That was a little silly. Not gonna lie. But we'll see, I guess. Yeah, I might have locked myself. I just forgot I sighted out the wetlands and stuff. But that's okay. I might have fucked myself here, though. I drew a monster, too. That's so fucking annoying. I was thinking about playing Book of Taiyu as a way to flip up Dupe Frog when I have the jam tokens in play. But who knows? I just gave him direct attacks. That's so cringe. Hopefully you just play some shit. I know I have nine turns to draw something, but I'm not even sure what I can draw. I can't summon. I drew the outs too. Oh, that's so cringe. I'm getting mega punished here. Pass turn. Yeah, I played this really wrong. I shouldn't have activated this. That was really stupid. Good to know though, I guess. I locked my own spell traps too. All right. I'll admit defeat. We'll go next. We'll go next. We'll go next. Um, I need to side back in the wetlands. I need to have wetlands over Necro Valley because if I enter that exact situation, then that's gonna matter a lot more. I think that is all. What did we see from him? Bottomless still. He had Mirror Force, he had, I think Solidarity also, kind of in the same vein, can just make Jam Breeding Machine a win condition, where it's normally not. So I'll side out Giant Trunade. Yeah. I'm going first, so I don't need Trunade. We'll do this. I don't need more than one Solidarity, but I do need at least one, so that... If I do get into that jam breeding machine mistake state, um, that we don't lock ourselves out. <laughs> you ever go into a game three wondering what brought you to this point? I know. I didn't think ahead there with the jam breeding machine. That was a that's a crazy like thing to think about. Is like, oh, I just gave him a direct attack every turn of the game, and I can't play the game. So I'm like, I self locked myself. Really embarrassing, but. You know, you do what you can. This hand's fucking insane. So, yeah. We're just gonna summon a swap frog. Activate. I'm gonna send... Probably just another swap frog. And then, that's gonna turn on solidarity. I'm not gonna activate messenger of peace. But I'm going to activate all of these cards. And have a 2200 Swap Frog. And then I will pass. I uh, think... LMAO. Uh, I don't know if I want to Water Art here. I can Water Art Mind Crush, but then he can attack me, which I don't like. This is all good. Normal Thunder King. Sure. 
set back row, set back row, set back row, set back row. Okay. That's fine. That's a lot of back row, actually. All right. Rivalry pretty good. I'll set that and I'll pass. And I can rivalry him in the draw phase. Activate rivalry. I need to get him lower in deck or I need to find win conditions. He's got seven tools of the bandit. He's going to pay a thousand. I'm going to dark bribe here. I don't want him to Vandalgi in me. I want him to be locked in Thunder King. And I want him to have less cards in deck. So he's going to draw. Yeah, maybe me sending with Swap Frog was a mistake. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll figure out another way to get another card out of his deck. Either that or I'll just, I'll just win. <laughs> so there's that. I don't know if I want to water art him yet. I'll water art him next turn after I get the messenger in play. Because I need to have a card in hand to get the mind crush alive. He's probably thinking about if he wants a heavy storm or not. That's probably what he's thinking about here. If he does, we will check. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, so he's going to pay eight. I'm basically forced to chain water art here. But let's see if this resolves. He might stop this somehow. Okay, that's going to resolve. He's got seven tools, Artemis. I don't like seven tools. That card's too good against me. I'll take seven tools. Oh, Artemis also just can't be summoned. So there's that as well. Um, yeah, we're going to take 19, which sucks, but... We have, we have Messenger of Peace for next turn. Hopefully that just resolves. Maybe we wait one turn on it. So I'm going to set Solemn, and then I'm going to pass. He's going to hit me for 19. I Messenger. He Solemns. I Solemn back. It also gives me a chance to draw a spell for Magic Drain. A little bit slow, but what can you do? We have rivalry up, so at least there's that. Cool. Well, let's try it, I guess. We'll get at least 20 turns with Messenger. If he has specifically Magic Drain, it's really cringe. Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. You have to discard a spell. I can't uh, discard a spell. That's not Magic Jammer. Cards, that card would be insane if it was discard any card. Yeah, that card would be... <laughs> yeah, it's not strictly better Magic Jammer. It's like I'm failing Brother D, Sag. Good to know that that's there, because that could cause us some complications winning later on. But as of right now, we are alive, at least. So there's that. And we know his hand is like Marshmallow and the other guy. Marshmallow can attack me, though. But he can't summon it, because I have rivalry. So we're fine. We have a weird lock going on here where he has one guy and he can't play more guys and he can't attack me. So we have 41 turns to figure out how we're going to win this game. I think it's most likely going to be wave motion cannon. Maybe. But I have to get like, there has to be a string of draws before it that gets us to that point, you know? Space Typhoon, target, messenger of peace. 
Well, I pretty much have to solemn that. Now our clock, or our self clock is cut in half. Oh, now we just lose. Straight up. Okay. Yeah, now we just lose. Oh, no, we don't lose. We have a monster now. He has Cursed Seal. We can summon the monster. We dropped the 200. That's really cringe. Hmm. Is it time to, to breeding machine yet? All right, I'm gonna fucking do this. He can crash into the swap frog, which I don't like. And because he can do that, it's probably better for me to attack. Yeah, if I attack, I think it's better. Honest. Get out of here. Alright. Get out of here. Get out of here. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Give me that. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Alright, 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 alright. Are we breeding machine pilled? No, we're not attacking, so we don't want to activate that. We'll just set this in pass. I think we lose. <laughs> straight up oh my god oh my god oh, I think I lose being at 200 is just too difficult messenger of peace is dead gem breeding machine is dead we have like 5 dead cards I need to find solidarity I can't attack because of stupid marshmallow <laughs> oh man oh. Yeah, that's the dumb fucking marshmallow on it. <laughs> I wonder what that is. Hmm. 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 What monster is that? Can't play that card either. Just gotta pass. This is gonna be a brutal one. This is gonna be a self deck out again, too, because I drew one off the Dark Bribe and then I sent one off the Swap Frog. That's tough. You know what sounds good? Some chicken tendies. Your boy wants some chicken tendies. I'm hungry. I'm hungers. Hold up be ordering some chicken tendies. Okay, more set monsters. Well, we got the bind. Amanda bind is back. Are we still just die to the fucking... I'm just gonna swing. Mama didn't raise no bitch. It ain't jar. It ain't jar. All right, it ain't jar. I don't believe it. I'm attacking the set. You have no responses, I know this. You have no responses. <laughs> Fuck it is. All right, well, I needed to get rid of that guy anyway, so. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me cook, let me cook. I may win this. 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 Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. Let me cook. Let me cook. Set Substitute. Activate Wave Motion Cannon. I may win this. Pass a turn. Water art. Sack swap frog. I may yet win this. I may yet win this. Big thonk here from Totagon. Solemn judgment. No, he has heavy storm. No, he has Vendalgian. No! Of course you drew Solemn! Of course! I should have activated Messenger because of this exact... Oh my god, I punted two games. I deserve to lose that one. I deserve that loss.
GG's, one, two. Okay, okay, okay. That was, that was so dumb. Holy shit. Uh, okay, okay. Moving forward, moving forward. We got two more decks. Got two more decks for the Tota Gauntlet. I can't lose another game, so I have to bring my Teleport Monarch Dark Arm deck, which is very similar to the first deck I played, but instead of Flamvels, we just have more staples. That's pretty much it. I'm going to actually export this deck list because I'm needing to see it <laughs> more likely than not. Uh, a lot of cool tech in this one. We're going to be trying out a lot, of, a lot of fun stuff, so let's run it. Let's run it back. That was, that was the most brutal painful matchup i've ever played that was so cursed that was like i i'm happy we conceded early there i punted the game because i never want to play that matchup ever again okay good luck have fun he's picking rock scissors again he says let's get to game five dude what the fuck Ugh! okay it's fine 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 that was a slog yeah, yeah. I have to win this one to get to game five. I have to win this one to get to match five, I should say. It says my brain has died. Good, good. That was the plan. That was the plan. I, I, I needed to fry his brain. Oh, my hand is good. My hand is actually good. This deck is pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. It's basically instant zombies, but without the zombies. And it said we just have, like, fucking rises and shit. Which is still very good. So, <laughs> that's pretty much what we're doing here. Um, yeah, we cut the zombies and we add some more swag, basically. Shout out to an OG friend, Vince. You're the GOAT. Shout out to Vince. Apparently, Totagon stealing all of his deck lists, Kappa. I'm just kidding. I think that was the first time I've ever featured Counter Fairies on this channel. I hate that deck so much. It's so bad. It's like, it's not bad. It's just really fucking boring. Um, <laughs> Vendalgian's a cool card. I'll say it, it is a cool card. That's really nice. That's a free instant fusion. That's actually really good for us. Dude. Bro just brought like 16 Thunder King decks. Alright. I'm going to show you guys the oldest trick in the book. Summon Mystic Tomato. Question mark? Mm, question mark? Battle phage. I shall be attacking you. Do you have anything? D prison. D's prison. All right. All right. All right. Pass. That was cringe. What am I playing against? What plays Upstart and Thunder King? Black Wings? I feel like it's only Black Wings that plays Upstart and Thunder King. Oh, man. Yeah, it's only Black Wings. Or, like, Hero Beat. Could be Hero Beat. Archfiend Soldier. Okay. Interesting. Falling Down is on the table. He attacked with the Archfiend Soldier first, representing Honest. So, I'm going to summon Dragon Defense. He can Falling Down steal the Trag if he wants to. There's too many fucking back row, bro. Alright. Well. I'm gonna try to kill the Thunder King. Because I think that that card's more annoying for me than the Soldier. Actually, no, I lied. The Soldier is more annoying. Well, he probably has more Archfiends. So I'm gonna try to kill the Thunder King first. Because he probably just has more Archfiends. Nice. Okay, that worked. That's lucky. I don't want to set Windblast. I feel like it's just nerfing my Trag and shutting off my Gores for no reason. I do want to set Sangin though. Because if he has Falling Down, I can't afford to take two hits anymore. So, we'll set Sangin and we'll pass. Sangin can get us to Treeborn Frog, and that'll get us a good Phoenix Wing at least. Am I playing Treeborn Frog? I don't even know if I'm playing Treeborn Frog. That's why I said I need to pull up my deck. I am playing Treeborn Frog. Perfect. So, yeah. That's my game plan here. All right, Tragodia going a little bit crazy. Going a little bit shilly. Our hand, it has some some techniques. He'll attack the Sangin. Sangin's going to die. 
That'll go get us Treeborn Frog. And I'll have a 3000 Trigodia. Could I have searched a four star? I think I can't because Tomato's gone. Yeah, I don't have any other four stars I can search to use with Trag to steal. All right, now I'm like pretty comfortable setting the Windblast because sure, it'll make the Trag 2400, but like that's fine. Let's run this guy over. He's going to take 17. And we're just kind of crushing this game. We're like perfect circling him, basically. That's kind of what this deck is. It's just like a perfect circle. Rise the deck. Set wind blast and pass. Yeah, it is. That is a big motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. This card is very unfair. This is like one of the best cards in the format. Like legit. Straight up. One of the best individual cards in the format is Trigodia. I put him up there like top one. Just kidding. He's not that good. But he's like... He defined the whole format before this. <laughs> That's like how good the card is. Alright. Hit for 36. It's going to be really hard for us to lose this one, I think. Main phase 2. I'll set Solemn and pass. Maybe setting Solemn was the losing play. Because now it shuts off my Treeborn and my Gores. That was really stupid, actually. I shouldn't have set this. That was really dumb. I'm basically forced to Solemn anything he plays now. Allure of Darkness. Alright, fine. Fine, you can have that. Maybe I'll just hold the Solemn, actually. He probably has his own Solemn. So that's why he's like chilling on his life total so much all right he has to banish a card archfiend soldier is just a weird choice dark arm gets banished it has to be a full archfiend deck or there has to be a reason for him to have he belongs to a crack diabolical unit he's famous because he always gets the job done not today <laughs> not today he's not getting the job done i'm sorry i'm sorry he's not He's probably playing Falling Down, though. We have to be careful of Falling Down. That card is really good against us. Special Cyber Dragon. Sure. Set Monster. Okay. Hmm. Do I want to hit the new back row? Yeah, I kind of do. Actually, I want to hit the Set Monster, don't I? Is that 16? No, I want to hit the new back row. I just want to set him back really far. Holy hell. Yeah, we can go for like a lot of crazy shit here. I think Brain Rise of His Set Monster is bad. So, what about, is there a way we could not use our normal here? I mean, he's just going to redraw that set card, right? Fuck it, we ball. Let's brain the Cyber Dragon. And try to rise at his set monster and set him back two draw steps. Book of Moon. I will solemn. Let's see. Does he have Solemn back? No, he does not. Give me the Cyber Dragon. And then I will sack Cyber Dragon for Ryza. Ryza target his monster. Sets him back two turns. And we have two lethal threats, so I think we just hit with Ryza. Hit with Ryza first, because if he has Call of the Haunted, this plays around it. He calls, and then we replay attack with Ryza, and then track direct for game. Um, this matchup doesn't seem bad, just because he's playing a meme deck. But, that being said, I'm going to bring in the dust. I'm going to consider some compulsories as a way to fight falling down, because that's a way we can get cheesed. I'm going to leave in all my like, going second shenanigans. I think Doom Caliber Knight is probably at its worst here. So, we're going to side those out. All of them. I think Soroko is pretty good. Because Soroko can just run over his guys. 
And then I'll, I'll think about the compulsories here. Yeah, compulsory is probably really good. I can do one over Krevins, because I don't really want to summon Krevins and sit on him. I don't really love Solemn in this matchup, I'm going to be honest. Of course, Trager, interesting. Trag hard carried that game. How many darks do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Is that enough for Dark Armed and Allure? Maybe I side out Dark Armed and Allure. And I bring in Compulsory, and then we also Grand Mole? Question mark? Grand Mole? Lila, maybe? Dark Smork? This one's tough. Eh. I'll side out alert for compulsory. I'll leave the dark armed. That card's too good. Cool. This hand is fucking insane. So, yeah. This works really well. We got the boys, we got the guys, and we got the kings. You know what I'm saying? That's a plus one. Hopefully he doesn't have a road here. That would be really annoying. What are the chances he has road? <laughs> LMFAO. What are the chances? If he roads me, I'm pretty fucked, right? Hmm. I guess so, if he roads me and he has two real back row, I lose. If, I, if he has two real back row and I summon Cyber Dragon, then I attack. I can still summon Krebins. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna play the Storm. I think I can play through two real back row. I think I can play through two real back row. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is fine. Battle phase. Attack. Deep prison. Okay. Th that's okay. It's like chill. All normal Krevins. All set bottomless set book. Pass. Yeah, I think I can play through two real back row pretty easily here. I'll take the Storm for his Starlight trade. Basically, like, he has Starlight, but I have Storm. He could have also just had Solemn, and I, I'm an idiot, but he set those three pretty confidently, and he was setting multiples last turn as well, and this is some... Yeah, I'm going to bottom list there. Chain book. That's That's fine. That doesn't matter. Cool. So if he has no new sets, like, then we're okay here, right? Yes. He's 3,000 attack now. Yeah, he is 3,000 now. Book pretty good there. It says Poggies. Okay. So he can take the Doom Caliber trade or not, but I am going to book his monster. Hopefully he doesn't have a new back row. But I'm pretty sure now that he's playing road um, just due to his situation, basically. All right, main phase two, what have you got? He does have new back row, which I'm fortunate. All right. Well, I have to risk it. I have to sack for Caius into his new set. Activate target Barbaros. Chain skill drain. That's fine. Just run over the Barbaros. Did he really not have road? That's the real question. No, he for sure has road. He might have another Barbaros. Which is a way to get through this. 
flips the Doom Cow. Okay. Normal's Archfiend. Sets passive. Alright. E Tilly. I mean, I guess we can just attack. I don't know why we wouldn't. Like, what else are we making? What else are we doing here then? Like, if we're not attacking, I guess we're making Stardust Dragon. Which is which is also fine. Um. Oh, if I make Stardust, no, wait, hold up. I make Stardust, and then I can storm through Starlight. No, I can't storm through Starlight because he has Doom Caliber. Fuck me, dude. This is really annoying. And I sighted out my Krebins. I'm just bad. I'm just all around bad. <laughs> but you know what? <sighs> We're gonna try it. This still activates. So it still trades. Man, I'm so fucking bad. I did not think that through very well. Well, I guess I can't run through Deep Prison here. We're at a stalemate. I guess I just pass. I'll pass, yeah. Typhoon Dust Tornado. Everything's a good draw. I just need to draw it, basically. Another soldier. Same position. Gores. Alright, now I'll attack. You don't have it. Let's see it. He does have it. Okay. Pass. And then he attacks and I have gore. So that's cool. Um, he attacks for 19. Summon gores. Don't get a token because this guy says when this is special summon to activate the appropriate effect. So I don't get a token under skill drain. Hmm. I have three darks. Should, right? Only two. Well. What are the chances he drew back to back T prison with one already out of deck? Very low, right? Yep. Cool. Pass. He can falling down. That's the annoying shit. Upstart Goblin, happily take the life points here. Hmm. Please give me my fucking Typhoon one time for the fans. No, never lucky. Okay, I'll attack his dude. Cool, pass. If I draw Typhoon or Dust, I'm, like, cooking, and I have four of those in my deck. What's that, one in seven chance of drawing something to hit the road? That is so cringe. Oh, wait, it's a machine. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Trap Dust Shoot? Are you kidding me? Sure. He should take Cyber Dragon, right? No, he should take Dark Armed for sure. All right, all right, all right, all right. It says Dad Keck W. Yeah. Yeah, all right. You have Bottomless. Ameritech. I'll set the Treeborn and pass. Treeborn is a nice little wall here. This guy's 0-0 zero, zero under skill drain, unfortunately. This game has been brutal. I've wanted to play this so badly. Like, I'm literally itching myself. Like, I'm like getting itchy not playing it. Sure. 
That's annoying. It's just progressively getting more and more annoying, you know? <sighs> Cringe. Oh, I tried the Phoenix Wing this the turn after I set the fucking... Obviously, I'm going to play it, right? Well, not yet. Not yet, not yet, not yet. We wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait. I'm going to Phoenix Wing his Starlight Road and Heavy Storm him. That is my game plan, though. I just need time. I just need time, and I need the right cards to do this. But I don't know if I have time, because if he finds a monster, I'm going to start taking shitloads of damage. What the fuck? My mouse just gave up. <laughs> Bruh, he says, I just can't miss with the... Yeah, that is really fucking good. Okay. Yeah. This is so fucking cringe. All right. Yeah, of course I drew it in this order. So the game plan is Treeborn comes back. Phoenix Wing pitch heavy target Fusilier. That's the only way. Sag. Don't have another summon here, please. Okay. There goes Treeborn. Phoenix Wing, Pitch Heavy, Target Fusilier. That's so unlucky, man. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He didn't draw a monster again. That is very good for me. That means I can at least bottom list this stupid Fusilier. And we've stabilized somewhat. Cool, 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 cool. Not being able to use my Heavy Storm, obviously, is very cringe. Please don't have Solemn or Book. Book would be so annoying. Okay, cool. Nice. There's no reason for him to attack the Treeborn. Yep, just pass. Mirror Force is great here. I'll just set it. Now he has a reason to attack the Treeborn, but then I have a reason to Mirror Force, so. Unless he summons a monster. If he summons a monster, I, I actually lose. I should have set this too. That was really dumb. It says, wow. Wow, indeed. All right. It says, I think it's because they are machines. I have magnets in my hands, Kappa. Yeah, setting the mirror force here was not good, but alas, here we are. I have to mirror force. He gets road, and then I lose. Did he just not have road? Yeah, okay. Cool. All right. Um, That was cringe. I think Darkson Morg has a lot of applications versus him. I Dude, I have fucking three dust tornadoes typing. I didn't draw any of them. That's so cringe. Uh, Lila is not the best. Soroko is going to be good. I think Soroko is just good. And I think Allure is good because we need a dig. I think Compulsory is not very good. He's not playing Falling Down. So I can cut Compulsory. Um, it seems very bad. And then I'm going to cut maybe like... Reaper seems pretty bad into Skill Drain. So I'll cut Reaper. Although he's like a good card in general. I'll cut Dust Shoot. Yeah, let's do that. No, wait, I'm going first. Dust is pretty good, isn't it? Maybe I'll just bring in one of the Dark Samorks. And I'll bring in the other Krebins again. He seems good. And I'm going first, so... I can side out Trag. Cool. Alright, let's do this. Hopefully this is just good versus Skill Drain type beat. Yeah, this hand does some things. Tomato can float into Sangin. So, we'll do that. If he has Doomcal, it'll trade with the Tomato, but whatever. We'll plan accordingly. 
I played around the road all I could, but he had some lucky draws there. There's Thunder King. That is cringe. But we would get what we have to get, which is Sangin. We could also grab Gale there. I think it's fine to grab Sangin. If I get if my rise gets solemn, I like fucking lose. I said bro, not like this. Sad phase. Hmm. I don't know what he means. Maybe because of that, I don't. No, I should rise of the Thunder King no matter what. Sang in one. Rise of two. Target T King. Yep. This should work. So such a cool ruling. Uh, yeah. I mean, Sangin would be, it's either in like later formats, I would just be able to choose. So I'll grab Gale. Can't wait for the YouTube comments to be like cheater. <laughs> Why would they be like that? <laughs> I can allure. I'll just hit, you know, I'll just hit for 24. Like, what's the worst that could happen? D prison. That's the worst that could happen. All right, I'll alert now. Draw two. Found Caius Crevin's fusion. Hmm. Which of these is better to keep? Caius or Crevin's? Probably Caius. Also bottomless. And pass. Probably. We'll see. I'm not sure yet. So he's drawing Thunder King again. He's gonna summon Thunder King. I'm actually just gonna let this resolve. My whole hand beats this. I don't really care. I'm gonna save the bottomless for Barbaros. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna try to rise at him again, basically. And I hope his other back row is that one card. We're gonna we're gonna start with instant fusion because I think it's better to save the brain. Okay. This guy's gonna get us Reaper on the Nightmare. I'm gonna sack Ryza. Ryza target Thunder King. Chain Torrential. That's pretty good. I can't lie, that's pretty good. I don't want to set any more into a, his possible heavy storm, so we'll just pass. We are up two cards, but our life total is a little low. And we have to, like, take damage to make plays here, which is annoying. So, our life total is 5,100, and it's going to be even lower after we take that first hit, which is annoying. And banish Archfiend Soldier, okay. Summon Doom Caliber Knight. <sighs> Fuck it, I'll bottomless this. I need to draw a proactive threat. I just don't want to take damage right now. Hmm. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe I was supposed to take that one and then brain Caius him there. But if he doesn't play another card, then I have to like brain Gale. It says, am I tripping or did I see a treeborn last game? You saw a treeborn last game. <laughs> you definitely saw a treeborn last game. Give me a dark Samorg, baby. God damn. All right. We play this slow. If he summons another 1900 boy, I will not torrential. I'll take 19. Because I think I, I have to, basically. But, like, what could he be sandbagging? 
That is totally okay. So this is 1400. Yeah, I'll pretty happily take 1400. Man, I really don't want to spend my gale here. <laughs> I really don't. Am I Caius banishing my own? Hmm. Man. This is so cringe. I may banish my own torrential. Okay, attack for 14. Then phase two. Sack for Kaiish. Activate, banish my own torrential. I know this seems weird, but he just has fucking cards he hasn't played. So like, what am I supposed to do? He just has a bunch of cards in his hand that he hasn't played so I don't know I have to eventually start doing something there's Fusilier cool there's Dust Tornado also cool I'll set Dust Tornado and pass the turn cool he let it go to his turn that means if it's skill drain, I can dust tornado it in response. Or if it's but if it's D prison, then I should have committed more to the board, maybe. But at least this turn I can do some shit. Yeah. Like this turn I can go sack for Caius. Target if you see. Chain skill drain, chain dust tornado, target skill drain. He should have M phase skill drained that one turn. He's gonna take another thousand. I will attack because I'm risky for no reason like that. Yeah, I need to win this game. And I think he might have been on like on Starlight or something like that. Tried to trick me with the skill drain there, but. I was just two steps ahead. I mean, I have three fucking dust tornado and I finally drew one, so there's that. Also Typhoon. Okay. Okay. Pass, all right. Well, what are we, what are we getting rid of, I guess? I can make Dark End. His Torrential's gone, right? Yeah, it is. Okay, so just Gale, Priority, Target, Thunder King. Mind Control, the Cyber Dragon. Could have done this a million different ways. How did he have his monster like that? Oh, I guess he entered both. Yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. Um, Yeah. We'll just make Stardust. Oh, I f I'm fucking stupid. He just negates this. Oh my god, that was so fucking... That was a punt, dude. That was so stupid. Just have the Cyber Dragon. What am I doing? Are we going to game five? Again! 2-2, two -two, GG's. GG's. I don't know what his deck was trying to do. I still don't understand it. I know it's like a skill drain deck, but I we have one more deck. We have one more deck, and it's Psychics. I played this deck on stream a few days ago, and it was awesome. And it was so much fun. And so I'm really excited. I'm actually going to need to pop out the deck list of this again. Just so I have it, so I know what I'm doing. And yeah. Hopefully we just open well and, and crush. That's the that's the game plan.
Shout out Totagon for joining me on this epic battle. This battle of epic proportions. And for making my day a little bit less boring, I guess. <laughs> Letting me play my cool brews. I'm really excited for the tournament this weekend. I need to build my deck. I need to build my deck. I've been like... I've been working on a whole bunch of different decks, but I think good luck have fun. Could be a really fun event this weekend. Alright, we're gonna go he led on rock, then scissors, then I'm gonna go rock again. Yeah. This time I'm gonna go rock scissors. I'm gonna go rock scissors this time, because I think he's gonna go paper or scissors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Any guess on today's theme? Anime decks. Cause you're a weeb. Keck. <laughs> Anime deck. <Keck> w. <laughs> Was I right? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Was I right? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Don't say that I was right, please. <laughs> oh, that's super funny if I was right. Alright. Set, set, pass. These are all decks my friend group was known to main back in this. I, how would, how would, how would I have known that? LMFAO, how would I have known that? I wouldn't have, how would I have known, I would have never known that. <laughs> what? I was like, what's the Archfiend soldier? I'm like, what is that? <laughs> Shout out his friends. <laughs> this deck is the one Totagon was known for. Oh no. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. You know what's funny is actually um, this morning, Monster Gamer sent me a screenshot of a message of me winning a tournament in 2010 with Flamvel Gravekeepers. And so I also played my uh, my day one deck, my deck that I had back in Edison. So that's really funny. That's really sweet. Fuck. <laughs> Typo the heart, the mail. Uh, enjoy the time. Yes. Enjoy the time playing Edison with your friends. That's the whole point of this. Just make some friends and uh, go do some fun shit after too. Go to the bar. Go to go to see a movie. Go run around the park. Go to the gym together. You know what I mean? Like don't just fucking play Edison together. Those are your boys, man. Go to each other's weddings. Babysit each other's kids. You know what I'm saying? Fucking do some shit. And yes, also subscribe. That's what's up. Fucking gadgets. Gadgets, bro. <laughs> I didn't ha bring a six samurai this time. <laughs> the last time I played him when he was on gadgets, I did some degenerate shit with six samurai to him. <laughs> I had him in the infinite vortex. Hopefully he doesn't have noblemen here. That'd be really annoying. Thank goodness. All right. Um, I think we should get Descendant. I don't think there's really any reason to complicate this. Descendant also being stronger than the gadgets is nice. It will turn on Solidarity, but I don't really mind. We're just up a solid plus here. He has his plus two, though, so that's fine. That's a lot of back row. Damn, son, that's a lot of back row. Let's hit that one. Offering. Cool. All right, name one. Let's blow up another back row. That one. Chain dust shoot. That's why we held the upstart. I knew there could be a dust shoot. Okay, well, unfortunately there's no Gravekeeper fusion, so we can't turn that into another pot, but we can upstart now. Troll Despair. <laughs> and we drew Psychic Commander. Let's fucking go. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Alright. Instant Fusion. Special Summoning. Which one of these guys we want to summon? Let's go Musician King. I 
Then I'll go summon commander. Good thing we held the upstart. And then I'll make Starbucks dragon. Oh, maybe I make thought ruler. No, Starbucks is better because we have uh, mirror force. Battle phase, attack with Descendant. His deck will probably struggle with Stardust here, but maybe not. Who knows? Yeah, maybe he has like Solidarity, Attack, Creature Swap, something like that. But if he doesn't have Solidarity, then like we're kind of okay. This doesn't really out anything. Doesn't attack over Descendant. Can never really beat Stardust, so. Bit of a stalemate, at least, for now. Yeah, he does have a solidarity. We let this attack go through, though. I don't really care about losing this. Do, do I care? I need to draw, like, a tuner, like, next turn. I think we just go over the top of this. Like, I don't think I care about this too much. Yeah, Stardust Mirror Force will buy me infinite time, and then we'll just go over the top eventually. Eventually. Just pass. All right. Yeah, Stardust Mirror Force is a good wall. It's bad if he has gear frame. But yellow guy, it's fine. That's chill. I didn't know Totogon was the gadget guy. Toto gadgets. It just feels like I feel like Totogon would play literally any other deck, but maybe maybe back in the day he was gadget pilled. Oh, that's an issue. That's a big fucking issue. Alright. Maybe I should have saved my Typhoon. What did I hit with Typhoon again? Offering? Okay. Well, happy I hit that at least. Switches the red gadget. Tax. I have to mirror force. And I have to get a good draw next turn. That is not a good draw. Let's see the D-Prison. No, no D-Prison. All right. Uh, well. Well. What do we do? This is tough. We don't have any place. We got to pass. This is really tough. Second solidarity was good. That or gear frame would have got him there. So he had like five draws, which is a good amount of draws. I'm going to be real. <laughs> That's like pretty good. Green gadget. Yeah. This card is stupid. What do I have in my sideboard for this? I don't even know if I have anything in my sideboard for this. I guess if I draw something like a monster, I might be okay here. Most likely not, but maybe. Okay, Psychic Snail, how does this work? If I go Instant Fusion, one for one, I can make it five star, I can make it faster. It's not very good, is it? But I have to do it. All right. Yeah, let's do it. I think his last back row will destroy this, though. So one for one. Oh, he has cards. Sure, 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 sure. Play your card. Play your bottomless. You got bottomless. Just show it. You got bottomless. Just show it. I'm fucking. We can go next. All right. Cool, cool, cool. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. All right, Dust Tornado is going to be good. Trap Stone is going to be probably good. Yeah. That's all we need. I don't think we need more than that. Psychokinesis is probably going to be good too. No, wait. This is not the game we want to play. We just want to keep the back row clear. If we can keep the back row... I guess Psychokinesis can clear the back row. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess I can clear the back row. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'll bring it in. What do I not like? 
I do like Mirror Force. I do like Psychic Overload. I don't think Upstart is the best. I don't think Chaos Sorcerer is amazing. I don't think Jumper is amazing. Maybe we keep the Sork and we side out the Jumper. Upstart could be useful. He might be on like Nox and shit too, so we have to be careful of that as a way to clear Spy. Damn. All right, well, this hand's good. Hopefully he doesn't have Nox. That's pretty much it. It's just Prage, no Nox. That would be ideal. This hand also shuts off Dust Shoot because I can Dust Tornado and then set Overload. If he doesn't have knock, then we're like kind of okay. I was really unlucky that I hit the wrong one with the Descendant 50-50, but that's the total gone difference, you know what I'm saying? All right, green gadget, gonna search, that's totally fine. I wonder if there's like merit to like making the yellow gadget, or not yellow gadget, Goyo to like steal this guy to keep fucking a space typhoon surprised he's not saving those but I guess it makes sense if you're just trying to slam fortress yeah and then if he has solidarity it's now alive which is pretty good for him I can't lie that is pretty strong here yep there's a solidarity that card's a problem it's like genuinely a problem Hmm. How do I deal with this? That is annoying. Dust of Solidarity. Oh, this is going to get set off the dust. And then Spy is going to activate. I am going to summon Descendant. Because... I want him to, I would rather draw Spy. Yeah, 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 I would rather draw Spy than Descendant. So I'm gonna summon Descendant. All right. Well. Not sure what the best play is here. I should have thought ahead a little bit. No, 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 wait, 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 I just go Arcanite. I just go Arcanite. That should be okay. Okay. I'll go Arcanite. Solemn. Jesus Christ. Okay, so his last card in hand is unknown. We don't know his last card in hand. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So I take 39, maybe even more if he has another monster. It might be another fortress, or it might be a force. Because he didn't play any other cards alongside his solemn last turn, so there's that. Overdrive teleporter. So if I pay 16, I think the best play is to go commander, run over the gadget, and activate and pay 100. So he'll take 100 and lose his green gadget. Maybe that play is wrong, but I want to like bait a smashing ground or something. No, that was wrong for sure. I'm so fucked now. I just took too much damage too quickly. Yeah, that, that was stupid. He ripped another gadget too. I'm surprised he didn't summon this last turn. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, he must have ripped it. Okay. Take 11. And take 12. I think lab gets us out of this, but it's just lab. That doesn't work, sadly. No, wait, it does work. 
Hold up. Let me cook. Okay. Normal Krebens. Activate Psychokinesis. Target Fortress. Take a thousand. Crash with Yellow Gadget. In phase two, activate Psychic Overload. Two, three. Can I get out of this? I don't know. No, no I can't. Says I'm pogging so hard, I love Psychics. Do you love them enough to not kill them? <laughs> Perhaps Totogon takes his first Toto Gauntlet victory against Psychics. I'm noticing a weakness in Psychics. It's that you need life points. <laughs> and when you have zero life points, the game is over. Mm, perhaps a weakness, perhaps perhaps a balancing of a deck that would otherwise be incredibly broken. But I'm definitely noticing a significant weakness here. I can't do anything. Yeah, okay. GG. GG's. I need I needed so many life points. I needed life points. GG's, your first Toto Gauntlet victory. Well played, well played, well played. Oh man, that was brutal. I'll admit defeat, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.